On the 19th of December 2015, Robtop released Geometry Dash Meltdown, a spin-off game to show off a few features of the upcoming 2.0 update. This sparked a tradition of making a spin-off game before every single major update, of which there's only been three so far since because, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I thought today it would be fun to go back and take another look at these spin-off games and see what they're like. I remember playing all of these when each of them came out, but I haven't really played any of them much since. So you know what? Screw it. Let's give them a go. Before we get into it though, I want to quickly mention I have enabled channel memberships, which is the little join button down there. There's a few perks there, like seeing videos a few days early, but it's mainly just there to help support the channel. So if you want to show a little bit of extra support for the channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's actually get into it. Hi, hello, hi, welcome back. So today you might notice something a little bit different. Maybe. I don't have a mouse cursor and that is because I'm actually on my phone here. First recording I've ever done on my phone on GD. I don't really play on mobile, like ever. What I wanted to do today is I wanted to revisit some of the spin-off levels, like GD Meltdown, World, and all that kind of stuff. Just kind of go back to the levels. I haven't played them in a while. So um, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and let's do that. All right, so now we're in Meltdown. The edges of the screen might be cut off a little bit. I tried to fix that, but I don't think there's anything I can really do about it, unfortunately. Well, I guess let's just hop into the seven seas here. We need to go ahead. Oh my God, that music. It is so delayed. I have to use wireless headphones because I don't like have an adapter for this and it doesn't have a headphone jack. Man, I haven't played this in so long. I remember when this, this came out, when I went into high school, I think. I remember that coin. 26, oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't even have the orbs. Yeah, because this was uh, actually like a sneak peek for 2.0. It is so weird playing on phone, dude. Oh, it's got the new indicator. That's interesting. Oh, look at that straight fly. Oh, look at me go. Oh, dude, it's been so long since I've played this. It's actually insane. <laughs> There's a coin up here somewhere, I swear. Um, where do I need to fall? It's somewhere. Oh, triple spike. Okay, that's compressed as hell. I think I needed to fall there. No, it's here. An ad? I don't want to save him. Okay, whatever. Um, let's hope I don't die again then. Yeah, these levels were definitely really, really simple. But I mean, it showcases the 2.0 stuff decently well. Like, it's got moving objects in there. It's got the bricks, you know? It's got the monsters down there. It's got, like, the shine objects as well. That's kind of neat. I don't know. I like this. My fat thumb is covering, like, half the screen, dude. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> One, two, four. Oh, okay. I was like, do I have to jump? Oh, no. All right, now I just not got to complete the level. We're all good. We got this, bro. We got this. Oh, I forgot this end part of the song. It's got the lasers going up. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay, nice. All right, the seven seas and the ultimate seven seas. I wish I could see it, but Strava is covering it up. Okay. Uh, screw it. Let's use this guy for a bit. Why not? <laughs> Change it up for the video. All right, Viking Arena. Let's hop in. See how we go with this. Ooh. Oh, the shine, the shine. Don't forget the shine. Where's the shine? Where's the shine? There's the shine. Got it. I remember this level being really weird. I don't know why I remember it being weird. This is kind of sick. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, the little monster's going across. That's sick. This is a cool level. I like this more than the seven seas. It's definitely got like more detail to it. This is banging, dude. Why did I think this song sucks back in the day? I remember that coin so well. Oh my God, dude. This is so cool. I love this. This level's sick. Okay, that's well, a lot shorter than I thought it would be. But this level's so cool, dude. I don't know why I remember that being like not good. Do you really think I'm 54 years old? I like this guy. This guy's cool. Airborne Robots. Apparently I got 94 on this. I have played these levels a long time ago before, but like not any time recently. Oh, that's cool. Like the shine. Man, those colors are really, really nice. I do have to say. Uh I died to the triple spike. Damn it. No. <laughs> it's a shame these are like completely packed with ads because these are like really cool introductory levels as well to like get you into the game more. Oh my God. How did I miss that? Also, I feel like these levels use moving objects pretty respectably. That's the community's fault for like the absolute horrible mess that was the move triggers in early 2.0. That's probably so off sync with what the music would be rather than what I'm hearing. Ah, also, by the way, I've actually had to edit in the audio for this because um, Android screen recorder, very strange. Apparently apps like have to actually have it coded in to be able to record the audio. I don't know why it does that, but like, it's fine. Getting far. I don't actually have the percent bar on. I should probably turn that on, but like, it's fine. Oh, this is scary. Oh my God. Not quite what I was expecting. I can't, I saw that coin and I just like tapped out of being scared and then somehow survived. Okay, cool. Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, hello there. All right. Well, yeah, that is uh, all of the GD meltdown icons. I'm going to check that these actually sync because I'm not sure. Oh, whoa. What? This is the new 2.2 editor, I guess. Now we're on GD World and we can actually, 
Okay. Yeah, I, I remember hearing about all of these, like the versus thing being there and stuff. Um, I've completed the first level here, Payload. I'm just going to go back and do it. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to bother sinking my data here. I did revisit these fairly recently to do the buff levels, but I haven't looked at all of the GD world levels. So yeah, I think like the whole first world might not be anything too new to me, but you know, very simple level once again, almost like more simple than the 2.01, which is interesting. All right, beast mode. I got 85 on this. How did I get 85 on this, bro? This is the back on track of GD world. How did I? Oh my God. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my God. Shake trigger. Yeah. I forgot about the shake trigger, dude. I have it disabled in like normal GD. I never, I never see it. Okay. I don't have to sit through an ad every time. That's good. Machina. Professional GD player right here. Oh, it's so off for me. Let me... Oh, that's what it sounds like for me. This is one of the cooler, like, I guess it's an effect level, you could call it. It's cool. It's cool. Literally, I clicked the X. I clicked the X, bro. Years. Years and years. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this song is so fire, by the way. Can I just say? Like, when it gets to the point where it's like... That is such a cool sound, dude. It's such a cool sound. I love it. I'm usually not the biggest fan of Dex Arson, but oh my god, this song is so, so cool. All right, front lines. What I used to think was basically the challenge, but better. I feel like this doesn't show off a huge amount of like 2.1 stuff. Like you got some of the new saws there, but like, I mean, obviously it didn't include spider game mode. I remember a lot of people being very underwhelmed by this as well. I mean, it's fair. I literally just one attempted all of those. It's more fun for more casual players, for people who like, oh my god. All right, Toxic Factory here. Coming soon <laughs> yeah no space pirates all right this is the this is the ufo one it shows more of like what the game has to offer i feel like for newer players because completing levels like when you're first starting out with gd just even an easy level is so hard dude so having these like short snippets these are literally challenge levels bro striker okay this is getting like into levels i haven't seen in ages so yeah this will be good Oh, mirror portal. Oh, you got the clouds. Oh, and they move. Okay, that's kind of neat. A lot of mirror portals. Try and pack a few in into this tiny level. <laughs> the color changing things are kind of neat as well. Oh, that is that a full triple? That might even be a full triple. Oh, man. I don't remember this at all. I don't remember any of the GD world levels other than the ones I saw recently because I buffed them. Ooh, this is a neat song. I like this. Okay, that's that's cool. That's a nice level. I like that one. Round one. Okay, what's this one? I remember the song. I don't really remember the level, I don't think. Feels very basic as usual, you know? Oh, okay, those pulsing objects were cool. Rob likes doing that a lot with the pulsing objects with like the things. Cappuccino, Frappuccino, Frapp Okay, Monster Dance Off. I remember this level very well. This was like probably the only exciting one. There's also completely a secret. Oh my God, that was one hell of a shake trigger. There was also a massive secret way in this. Uh, I'll see if I can pull it off right here. Oh no, I think it was fixed. Nice wave part. It's cool to end off on a wave part. I think the wave like is something that not a lot of newer players get to play with much. I have completed, what do you mean the first two islands? You mean all of them? <laughs> so I think the online levels are just all of the, yeah, they're all of the daily levels that have been. Okay, that's GD World. That took a lot less time than Meltdown. So many more levels, but they're all so short. I can do them in one attempt easily, you know? <laughs> Damn, hitting me with the terms and conditions. Okay, GD Sub-Zero. Oh yeah, gotta love it. Green, you've got some skills. I literally haven't even played the game yet, but okay. This is a sneak peek for 2.2, as I'm sure we all know. And I haven't touched these levels since this came out in like 2018 or whenever it was. <laughs> oh, the camera. Honestly, if 2.2 just released with like these features, couple new blocks, not even a new game mode. Like, I feel like that would be enough. Well, for back then. Were those default blocks there? I've just realized, oh my God. Like, these camera angles are enough to, like, change up the game so much. So, like, I don't know, man. I think it'll be exciting. Oh, my God. I forgot about this part. This part's really cool, dude. I'm not going to bother with all the coins anymore. Considering I can't even sync the icons anyway. It doesn't matter too much, right? I'm such a professional gamer. All right, cool. Oh, and it even goes up to the end. Okay. So, I wonder if you can just straight up place an end wall in 2.2. Knock him. I never liked this level. I don't know. I found this really, really frustrating. I really struggled with this. Man, this is unlocking so many memories from such a long time ago, dude. Whoa. Take me through. And then we're ready for the trick. Whoa, you thought you'd go up there? No. Nah. This is very cool. Like, once again, like, super simplistic deco. But it just works, right? It just shows off the new, like, camera movements and stuff. I think it does what it needs to do, honestly. Oh, my God. This part. I forgot about this. Uh, not gonna lie. It's not as hard as I remember it being. <laughs> Man, if all those movements was done manually, that's insane. That would have been such a pain. I tried to tap. I was buffering it. Oh, my God. Buffering stuff on mobile feels so weird. I don't know why, but, you know, it's fine. Whoa. 
I'm really not doing well right now. <laughs> I don't know why I used to find this part like so hard to sight read, but it's, it's honestly, it's not even that bad. Uh, levels from the previous updates, but not as exciting. Oh my God. Bugger off. I don't want your Discord notifications. Stop. <laughs> Oh, dude, why? I remember why I didn't, like, knock him now. Not getting the coin. That was made harder, I think. So, no, bugger that. Mirror portal. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, we got it. Whew. Knock him complete. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, my God. That was, like, the scariest moment of my life towards the end of that. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy's kind of funny. I'll enable this. That's a cool-looking icon. I like that. All right, so now we're on two power trip, which apparently I have 21% on. I remember this level being, like, the best out of all the Sub-Zero levels. I don't know. I also like the song. The song's kind of fire as well. I saw an invisible orb there. I'm not worrying about the coins anymore. I wish the data synced properly. That would be really cool. Yeah, it doesn't quite. That was so trippy back in the day, dude. That little wave transition. Oh, my God. Why did I think that would be a red? Oh, I thought that would be a pink orb, bro. That's smiley face. That's an evil smiley face right there. Okay, we survived that. I didn't sight read badly. Okay, we good. This isn't like a super difficult level. It's just fast, so it's scary, I feel like, right? Oh, also oh, those particles orbiting these orbs. I didn't even notice that. That's a really cool detail. I really like that, actually. Also, I remember that speed change being a lot more evil than it is. Like, it's just occurred to me, but I haven't died to it yet. So I guess, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just, like, better at sight reading now. I mean, obviously, I'm a lot better at the game. Last time I played this was, like, probably 2018. Okay, early. Nice. Okay. Oh, I remember this part being scary. Oh, the speed change! 82, 82. I was gonna say, I remember that part being really scary. And it is. Boom. Ah, oh, the stupid speed change got me again! Speed changes should not be invisible. If the level changes speeds, I wanna know about it, alright? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, the camera, the camera, the camera. Man, honestly, I just, main thing I can't wait for with 2.2 is platform mode. I think platform mode is going to be really, really fun. It's going to open up so many more possibilities for just different aspects of gaming in general. Especially stuff like puzzle levels. You don't really see puzzle levels that much in like GD like this. Okay, focus. Got this. Nani? Okay. Okay, we're going, we're going. That glow on the platform, this is really helpful to know your gravity. All right, cool. Boom, power trip done. Holy, dude, holy. All right, cool, and coming soon. Yeah, no, it's not coming soon. I don't know why Rob puts coming soon there every time. But yeah, boom, that is uh, all of the spin-off games done. Yeah, really, really unfortunate that I can't sync the icons. I really hope that's fixed in 2.2. I really want to be able to, like, have those locks go away. I want to be able to unlock almost every icon I can, right? But yeah, boom, that is all of the GD spin-off games complete. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, this little revisiting. I think overall, I'd say my favorite is Sub-Zero. Um, but I think in terms of, like, showing new stuff, definitely Meltdown showed the most new stuff. Instead of just showing the movements and stuff like keys, it showed new blocks as well and just a whole lot of new stuff rather than this, right? Right. I don't know. Maybe it spoiled too much. I don't know. I wasn't really around for the 2.0 update a huge amount. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to all the members on screen now, specifically Crazy for being a tier 3 member. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I will see you later.